Hello everyone, welcome to BTV. We're ready for Beeston versus University of Birmingham match starting at two o'clock today. Big thanks to today's match sponsor, Ultra Building Products, and today's match ball sponsor, Mountain Sports. Fascinating game in prospect. I'll bring you up to speed with the information about the match day 16. A little bit closer to time, we'll have a quick look at what else is going on around the world of hockey today and it's a result from the early match Buckingham 1 East Grinstead 4 that is all complete the match that started at the same time Clifton Robinson's Loughborough students is showing us 1-1 yet at half time how we will work out what's going on just exactly uh, in, in a few moments. Match started at one o'clock, Holcomb versus Bowden Hightown. That one is towards the end of the second quarter, 1-1. One, one. Of course, our match of the day is at two o'clock, Beeston versus University of Birmingham. And later on, the top two meet. It's Surbiton versus Hampstead and Westminster. To your left is the table. You can see Surbiton lead the way with 24 points, eight from eight. Hampstead and Westminster in second place with 19 points on the board. Not a bad debut season for them so far. Today, our attention is drawn to the teams in eighth and ninth. University of Birmingham in eighth place with seven points, two wins and a draw under their belts. Beeston have six points, two wins, and two wins coming in quick succession. That's the way the table looks. How did we get there? We'll have a look at Beeston's match when they travelled to Holcomb last weekend. Now to Holcomb as they entertain Beeston. The home side went into this match in fourth, having had a mixed start to the season, whilst the visitors have won two of the last three, having lost their opening four. Mandes Merlo picks it up. Now what can she do here? Gets it across and this is Huddleston. Huddleston on the reverse stick. Doesn't quite come off for her 16. Beeston still on the attack. Ball fired forward. Elliot just cuts a uh, little bit of a deflection and a chance here for Trigg. And Elliot with the tackle and gives away the penalty stroke. Get it then up against Thomas. To give Beeston the lead. And it was a bit telegraphed. Thomas, good save to her right hand side. Here come Holcomb. Well, it's been turned over and a chance for Beeston to spring an attack here if they can. Out to this right. Oh no, well, it takes a deflection. They're still coming down through the middle. And a chance hit. Steve, uh, Robinson, Stevens at the far post. And Thomas and Westwood just about get it clear. Trunks to the right, Lewis to the left, and they're looking for the deflection. And a chance here for Lewis. Good save, it's another penalty corner. Here is a chance for Beeston. The shot at the far post. No, it's well saved by Thomas once again. It's fallen to Stevens. Stevens into the circle, and Holcomb just about get it clear. Free hit to Holcomb, just outside the 23. In it comes Manuel. Oh, what a goal from Candice Manuel. Her fifth of the season. 51 minutes in and the deadlock is broken. Penalty corner, two castles. It goes to the right-hand one as we look. And Joanne Westwood doubles the lead. It goes through the keeper. It's Holcomb two, beast and nil. Penalty corner. And it's going to look for the deflection. Good defence. And on the reverse stick, it's punched wide by Fernandez Merlo. On to this right hand side. And Triggs can't pick it up. And Lewis. This is Shelley. Shelley back in again. Touched by Lewis. Shot by Wild. 3 0. Well, Beeson had a chance to get it clear, but Olivia Wild makes them pay. And it's now Holcomb 3, Beeston 0. Beeston push the ball away. Yeah, the one's chasing the game. There is the final whistle. And it is a win for Holcomb. And Beeston, well, they played a full part in an entertaining game. And perhaps the scoreline doesn't do them many favours. They played well, but they come away with no points. Final score, Holcomb 3, Beeston 0.
And here is the match summary. Holcomb 3, Beeston 0. Cadiz Manuel scoring in the 51st. Joan Westwood doubling the lead on 60. And Olivia Wilde from open play on 66. The final score last week at Holcomb Park, Holcomb 3. Beeston 0. We'll be turning our attention to matters at hand here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Beeston versus University of Birmingham next. Hi, I'm Steve Parker from FHP Living with the sales agents down here at Trent Basin. A stunning mixed development of apartments and quality homes set directly on the riverfront. If you'd like any more information or to arrange a viewing, please contact us at the office or have a look on our website. When you succeed. We succeed. So, we listen. We tailor. And we invest in you. We are innovators. We deliver results. And world-class service. We are always developing. Learning and growing. And getting better at what we do. Supporting your business. We make technology effortless. And more than just a means to an end. We're the team who serve. And advise you. All to help you achieve. And surpass your goals. We're super. We're honest. And go the extra mile. We're winners. And team players. And together. We're the managed service provider. We're Air IT. We're Air IT. We're Air IT. You're number one for IT and comms. Bringing you back up to speed, here are those match day 16s for today's match at Nottingham Hockey Centre, Beeston, University of Birmingham. If you're new to the sport and you're looking to understand a little bit more, what do those X's mean? Well, those X's mean that those players are starting the match and there should be 11 either side. So starting for Beeston, Nicky Cochran, the goalkeeper, Myrie Drummond, Ali Eady, Alice Huddleston, Agustina Fernandez is on the bench, Lauren Burrell starts, also on the bench, Sophie Robinson and Charlotte Triggs. 
Starting, Katie McKee, Jess Hood, Annie Dalton, Heidi DeVay, Sean Emsley and Paige Gillett. Also on the bench, Rebecca Malian and Ruby Apula. For University of Birmingham, starting in goal, number one, Nicole Marks, five, Pim Lock, Lauren Hunt and Catherine Desma. On the bench is Hannah Birchall. Starting, Rafaela Brandon Lee and Debbie Thomas, as well as Millie Atwell. On the bench, Cobra Hall, Keris Preston and Lenny Walker. Four starters in a row, Philippa Stewart, Captain Amelia Andrew, Elena Emo and Sienna Horton. Emma Alrogan is on the bench. So those are your match day 16s. You know what the starting 11s will be. Of course, there'll be plenty of substitutions throughout the game. These two teams have already met before this season. And it was uh, a defeat for Beeston on the road. So what can the reverse fixture have in store today. Two teams relatively even in terms of points and performance. I'm sure this game is going to develop nicely and be nice entertainment for you this Saturday afternoon, courtesy of BTV. On screen now, you can see the Beeston teams getting their final instructions. In the back of your picture, goalkeeper Nicky Cochran, and there are the University of Birmingham squad in red and blue ready to go there as well. Goalkeeper Nicole Marks moving into shot now. The umpires for today's match, well, they're in the middle, they're in blue. The umpires are David Howell and Andy Pillay. We're waiting for the all systems go and we'll get those teams introduced for you. Services, Ali Dalton. 27, Heidi Devay. 28, Sean Emsley. 30, sponsored by Miracle in Progress, Paige Gillett. 36, sponsored by the Pitch Hen, Rebecca Mallion. And 52, Ruby Apula. Representing University of Bowling, Nicole Marks, Pitt Long, Laura Hunt, Sienna Horton. Catherine Ledesma, Hannah Birchall, Rafael Brando Lee, Ben Thomas, Lily Atka, Coco Hall, Paris Preston, Lily Walker, Jennifer Stewart, Patrick Amelia Andrew, Owen Emma, and Emma Owen. Those are your teams. How are you being? Teams are welcomed. Beeston are ready and set to go. The final non-starting players are making their way off the field for University of Birmingham. This is a repeat of the first ever fixture on BTV, if my memory serves me correctly. I commentated on it and it was a 2-2 draw at the very start of the 2018-2019 season. Again, what has the November 2019 version of the game got in store for us. It will be Beeston getting us underway and Alice Huddleston will be over the ball. There we are, we are off and underway. Match is live, Beeston finding their way into the game. 
holding on to possession, getting those first couple of passes together. That's his neat from the left-hand side. Beeston making their way through good progress from Alice Huddleston towards the edge of the circle. Bit of congestion around the edge of the circle and the umpire's whistle has indicated a University of Birmingham ball. First, uh, so, so close to an interception from Lara Brell. It's gone out for a sideline ball for University of Birmingham. Once again, University of Birmingham in the red and Beeston in the black. Nice control. 3D skills. Rafaela Brando Lee maintains possession into the corner under pressure. Can she find a pass? She's got the ball up in the air, but it's been taken off her. And Beeston have the umpire's whistle at their side again. Nice take from Jess Hood. Hood shields the ball in midfield. And tries to release the runner down the right. Annie Dalton, but it was just beyond her. Although it looks like it's gone the way of Beeston. And here they have possession on the halfway line. Nice pass and nice take. Paige Gillett spreads the ball out to the left. Bright start from the hosts. That's another free hit in a dangerous attacking position for Beeston. Ball into the circle for the first time. Can this be a turn into a shooting opportunity? Defended en masse from University of Birmingham. They break out of defence very quickly and that's a timely interception. We're only two minutes into this one. Beeston have had the better of the first few moments. In fact, that's another good interception there. Broke again for a University of Birmingham player. And this could go quickly from defence into attack. And that was Catherine Ledesma with a shot. Should be a long corner. And here it is. Lauren Hunt goes back. That's another timely stick at the right time from Beeston. Halts the progress from University of Birmingham. Now you can see there on the back of that shirt is 56. That doesn't match any of the numbers on my sheet that I've got in front of me. So I can't tell you who that player is. We'll work on that one as soon as we can. Bit of space opening up for Lauren Burrell. She's into the final quarter or towards the final quarter of the field. Gillett, there's a pass on, doesn't quite make its way through to Annie Dalton. The reverse of this fixture, Beeston really didn't get into the game in the first quarter and were punished by University of Birmingham. And, uh, they look like the better attacking team and with the more intent throughout the game. But this is a much, much brighter start from Beeston in comparison to that game. And here come the Bees again over halfway. Huddleston, that pass has been picked off. And it's starting to go a little bit end to end. University of Birmingham in the circle, that popped up. Nothing doing, says the umpire. Nice weighted pass into the centre, Jess Hood looks up. The option she chose looks like it wasn't the right one, but she's done well to intercept that ball and knock it out of play for a sideline ball for University of Birmingham. Looks like uh, on the side, out of vision. Bees uh, are looking for their first interchange of the day. Dalton doesn't find the player she wanted to with that uh, sideline ball. Beeston really crowding University of Birmingham out there, winning the ball back. Lost in midfield. Myrie Drummond there, a little bit uh, slow to see the opportunity opening up. Decent battle for the ball right in front of the officials. 
University of Birmingham have a free hit. Little bit of movement, but there's an awful lot of black shirts in the way. And in fact, that's been intercepted straight from the word go. That's a nice take on the left. There's not many black shirts to help from a Beeston perspective. Player appealing for something there, but the ball has won legally according to the umpire and play continues. We're going to the sideline. You can see uh, Agustina Fernandez. She's already been off and she's come back on in this game. The ball popped up into the air, taken down by Catherine Ledesma, 16. Nudged that one out of play. Attempted aerial, I believe that was. That didn't quite go to plan. Beeston getting the basics right more often than not here. Just being in the right place at the right time, being a nuisance and not allowing University of Birmingham to play when they've got the ball. That's a decent pass forward. A little bit too close to the defender. Good mopping up work again from Annie Dalton. Paige Gillett goes to ground. And the umpire indicates a free hit. We're back up and running. Nearly seven minutes gone, no goals. Interesting start to the game. These have slightly the edge. We're waiting for that first clear-cut opportunity, though, from both sides. Crunch ball forward, hit a player. Umpire's whistle indicates we're going to go for a University of Birmingham free hit just inside their attacking half. There's 56 again. Still don't know who that is. Delith Thomas. Twists and turns and tries to find a route in. Loose in the circle. Umpire right on it and it's been taken out neatly and rolls out of play. Whipped in. That was almost a shooting opportunity. The umpire has found in the favour of the defensive team. That's how quickly University of Birmingham can do it. They are quick and can go from holding the ball in possession to being very attack-minded very quickly. That's something the Beaston need to be aware of. And they've done it again here. Can they get a shot away? It has fallen kindly in the circle. That's across the face of goal and that's tapped behind. I think the player coming onto the ball could have done better there. That's a first warning sign for Beeston. University of Birmingham with the best goal scoring opportunity so far. Two balls on the field. along the floor and it did come off a beast and stick long corner says the umpire with the ball pip lock lock goes backwards University of Birmingham spreading the play Thomas plays the ball into the circle it's in front of the goalkeeper and then tapped out calmly from the side we go again University of Birmingham who have really come into it in the last minute or two. Nice, timely interception, and they are now turning defence into attack. Over halfway with Alice Huddleston. She's come a long way with the ball, and she's made her way into the circle. Great run this. Has she got a finish? She plays the ball. And it's a first penalty corner of the game. Terrific run from Alice Huddleston. Just how... Long does she run with the ball? She's picked it halfway up through her own half, beats two challenges, makes her way into the circle, and the ball pops up, and then it hits the player on the line. Unfortunate there, but that's the reason for the penalty corner. Solid work from Alice Huddleston. Now, 
There's an array of attacking options around the edge of the circle. The players are mostly spread out. Two of the likeliest candidates to attack this on currently around the edge of the circle. We see what happens here. It's crunched towards goal and that is too high. Yes, it did go into the goal, but it was too high. Straight down the other end we go. Good game, this. Form book says that these are two well-matched teams. Not be fair to say that they both aren't having the best of seasons and this game is quite important. Uh, three points here can go a long way to securing safety for one of these two teams. And I'm sure that prize is motivating a lot of the players today. Spread out to the middle of the field. So close to being intercepted. Thomas again involved. Little bump there. She's going to be in the running to pick this up. Is that going to be kept in? No, that did look promising from a Beeston perspective. Ball rolls out of play. Good running again. Second good run of the game from Huddleston. Her progress is stopped and possession is turned over. Spell of maintaining possession for University of Birmingham. A reminder that the game is divided into quarters. We'll have 17 and a half minutes and a two minute break. Then a 10 minute break after the next 17 and a half minutes. Another run forward, mopping up Paige Gillett. She's done well there. Katie McKee checks back on herself. Drummond flicks the ball along the floor. Nice lead taken. Burrell. Goes to the baseline, has to twist back on herself. She's not got a lot in the way of support, but support is coming. Rubia Pula is just into your picture here. Looks like she's done very well to engineer a free hit. McKee to the baseline towards the circle. Umpire finds against her. University of Birmingham free hit from just by the baseline. 13 minutes and 15 seconds gone. No goals. Slow burner this one. I'm sure we are due goals. It's a cracking game to watch from a tactical perspective. Which team is going to come out on the top? Virtual. Rolls the ball out to the right. Preston. Into the circle we go from University of Birmingham. That's a foot. University of Birmingham's first corner of the game. This is another example of University of Birmingham turning defence into attack very quickly, which has been a feature of their game this season. Quickly into the circle, and you can see the ball played in. And then on that second touch, Coco Hall engineering that foot. Delith Thomas has uh, scored the only converted penalty corner for University of Birmingham this season. What have they got in store here? It's an intricate one from close in. Umpire's whistle to his lips and he's indicated a defensive free hit. So Beeston survived that one. Long burst on the whistle. What are we uh, holding up for here? I think uh, out of picture, I can see that uh, the umpire is having a discussion with one of the Beeston players, which we can't see on your screen, but that's what's happening. 
So it's a, a bit of a lecture at the moment. That's why play is stopped and will be restarted. And we are back underway. Fernandez. Been a, a real standout this season for Beeston Fernandez. Nice control from Hood. Hood runs with the ball again. Tries to find a pass. Doesn't quite come off. You can see Sophie Robinson is into the play as well. Number 10 on her back. Fernandez plays the ball in, deflected neatly into the circle, pushed out of way. Will it roll out of play? Yes, it will. Beast and ball with it. Annie Dalton. Diagonal pass. A puller neatly done. Fernandez checks back on herself and plays the ball into the circle. It's bounced a long way. It's still in the danger zone from a beaten perspective. Long corner. Strong finish to the end of this first quarter. Around about 90 seconds to play or so. Can Beeston find a breakthrough in this first quarter? Into the circle. It's popped up and defensive hit given. Too high off the stick in the circle. Healthy crowd for a chilly day here in Nottingham. I know uh, a lot of people nearby have been suffering with uh, a lot of the rain that we've had this week. It's good to see people getting out and about and having some, some fun whilst uh, it is not raining here. Fernandez. Nice ball, nice take. Robinson comes inside with the ball still under her spell. Lays it off for Fernandez. Fernandez has it pickpocketed. And University of Birmingham have got 30 seconds to try and fashion an attack together. Here's mystery player 56 for University of Birmingham. 3D skills in effect, trying to find a way through. Fires the ball towards the circle. Paige Gillett finds a, a block. Free hit for University of Birmingham. Our watch says that should be it for the quarter, and in fact it is. We have a two-minute break, plenty to look at in that first quarter. Beeston shading it, but University of Birmingham really not out of it. They are very, very close. A reminder, it's a busy, busy weekend this weekend in Premier Division Hockey, in the Investec Premier Division. We have six fixtures, uh, Bowden High Town. Uh, playing uh, tomorrow East Grinstead East Grinstead in action today away at Buckingham and in the men we've got a hat full of fixtures as well Surbiton are playing Hampstead and Westminster today and they're away at Wimbledon tomorrow and uh, Wimbledon are playing East Grinstead away today and of course Wimbledon Surbiton tomorrow Brooklands Manchester University are playing Reading tomorrow as well there's a whole host of hockey which we'll try and keep you up to date with today. Next couple of fixtures for Beeston. Well, they are away at East Grinstead on the 23rd of November. The same day, University of Birmingham host Clifton Robinson. So that's a 1.15 start for University of Birmingham on the 23rd. 4.30 for Beeston away at East Grinstead. Throughout the game, your nominations for player of the match are always welcome. At official BHC, at official BHC is where we're going for your nominations for player of the match. Right, just need to be in three places at once. Just waiting for the umpires okay. And we are off and running. The 
Beeston onto the front foot again quite quickly. Important touch in. The University of Birmingham can't quite get it out of danger yet, but things have opened up for them. There's a ball along the touchline which has been picked off and kept in by 27, Heidi DeVay. DeVay gets us going again. That's just beyond the toe of the stick. But it's been kept in play by number nine, Lauren Burrell. She turns. Tight spot there. And she's done well to engineer the free hit situation, but it's been turned over again. Beeston need to convert this into an attacking, more attacking threat and turn it into goal scoring opportunities. They've had the better of the game so far but yet to really test goalkeeper Nicole Marks in the University of Birmingham goal. Turned over and turned over again. Burrell, number nine. Short pass and now long and quick towards Sean Emsley. It's just beyond her. A good chase on here to try and close down the pass. Walker. Back stick is the call from the umpire. You might not have heard that. That's a shot towards goal. That's a very important touch before it got to Nicky Cochran. And that is a defensive hit for Beast. And that shot was on target from the University of Birmingham perspective. Nicky Cochran wasn't tested there. Important stick stopping the ball on its journey towards the goal. McKee. This has fallen kindly for Beast and Sophie Robinson's in the circle, fires the ball towards the goal, and what a terrific opening goal that is, all on her own. Number 10, goal machine, Sophie Robinson with the opener. Beast and one, University of Birmingham nil. Terrific stuff. Very calmly taking the applause, but what a goal that is, and what an important goal in the context of the game. First goal of the season as well for Sophie Robinson, and what a first goal that was. Bit of a, a stick lock there. Will be a University of Birmingham ball. That's come off. Coca Hall's foot, and we're going again with a beast and ball from free hit position already into attack Fernandez plays the ball into the circle this could be two here and that's wide of the goal on the scene another one of the University of Birmingham defenders Long blow of the umpire's whistle there. He's uh, indicating it's a beast and free hit. And they've gone with it quickly. It's popped up off the goalkeeper. And it's still live. And that is two for the beast and team. Terrific stuff. Umpire giving the advantage. Play the ball. And that's exactly what they did. And it ended up in the back of the University of Birmingham goal. 22 and a half minutes gone. Beeston are two goals to the good over University of Birmingham.
was a bit of a crowded circle, so we'll bring you confirmation of the goal scorer as soon as we have it on our screens here. Just checking everything's all right. So just, uh, just to confirm, Sophie Robinson opening the scoring. We're getting the ID of the goal scorer for the second goal as soon as we have it. Terrific spell. And the ball crunched through, goes all the way through, and has a play for a defensive hit. Now I can tell you. With, uh, with certainty, that was Sophie Robinson who scored the first goal. Officially, it's credited as Lauren Burrell, which is odd. So we'll try and get that uh, confirmed for you. She's also, the same player has been credited for the second goal as well. However, I suspect something's not quite right and there's a few gremlins in the system. So we'll wait for official confirmation at half time. What is undoubtedly true is that Beeston are two goals up here. And they're looking for a third. That's across the face of goal and flash wide. That's a painful one. Clock stopped. Malian, who was uh, very close to the ball. Always seems a little bit unfair that if you've been hit very close in, it's your opponent that gets the free hit. But taken very quickly and very positively from University of Birmingham. Two goals down. They need to find a way back into this game pretty soon. At the moment, though, it seems to be all Beeston. And the little things that may have not been coming off a couple of weeks ago are all seeming to work. That one's gone all the way through and hit the backboards. Defensive hit for University of Birmingham. Nice turn. Huddleston. He's robbed in the circle. But Beeston will have possession. A couple of strides in from the corner. Into the very edge of the field of play, using all the available space, engineering a long corner. Into the circle again, into the air, and wide of the upright. Coming up to the end of 26 minutes played, Beeston are two goals up here at Nottingham Hockey Centre against the University of Birmingham. That's a lofted ball from Sophie Robinson. And the umpire says, no, thank you very much. And University of Birmingham will get us going again from that free hit position. Speculation is never good, particularly when you've got an open microphone. But I thought for a moment that player 56 could have been Emma L. Roggen, who was 96. However, I've just seen 96 Emma L. Roggen hoving interview, so we don't 
know who that is. That's a defensive hit. It could have fallen kindly for Beeston there. That could have been their third. Really making a nuisance of themselves, Beeston, very early on. Really not letting University of Birmingham settle at all. Popped along the floor, mopped up. Myrie Drummond in possession. Drummond checks back on herself, makes a little bit of a space for an easier pass to Ali Edie. Rolled out towards the left touchline, nice spin. Beeston have the ball again. Played along, can this be kept in? No, there's no one in a black shirt there. It'll be the visitors from Bournebrook who have possession. This is a, a good spell from Beeston, as I said earlier on. Things are starting to come off for them. Things are starting to work. This is a different performance to very early on in the season. It's another burst of the umpire's whistle. Everyone's rushing back from University of Birmingham. Beeston into the circle. Can they get a shot away? Miscontrol in the circle and cleared first time all the way out of play from University of Birmingham. It doesn't matter where it is at the moment, they just want it away from that goal. That's popped up and won back cleanly by Beeston, but given away, Pip Lock with it. Can she do something with this? She's in towards the circle. It's going to be a free hit outside of the circle. Lauren Hunt tries to find a teammate in the circle. Pops up defensive free hit for Beeston. In fact, no. The umpire had indicated it was a defensive free hit, but has seen something else and has given University of Birmingham another second penalty corner of the game. Let's see what happened here. Pops up and you can see the umpire was going to point one direction and then it was indicated it is a penalty corner. We've got a clock stopped here. The uh, umpire is making sure that everybody's in the right position. We're back rolling again. Hunt with the opportunity. Still live. And out of play. Beast and survive a second penalty corner opportunity. Very quickly down the other end of the field, if I have a bit of bold to say, it's a little bit too quick. It's gone all the way through. Being in the right place at the right time has, could have been paid off here. This could be a third for Beeston. It's been saved by the feet of Nicole Marks. She's done well there from close range. Hood to the baseline, gets pickpocketed, but has won second prize and has a free hit. Into the circle, looking for a foot possibly, it's just tap wide and all the way through without a defensive touch. 
defensive hit for University of Birmingham. 32 minutes completed. Beeston 2, <laughs> University of Birmingham 0. Just check the uh, score information. It's still saying Lauren Barrella scored both goals. However, I know that's not uh, true because it's the Sophie Robinson was the only Beeston player in the, in the final quarter of the field. And that's a third penalty corner for University of Birmingham. Muss's law of three says the third one has to go in. Nice running from Hunt. And yes, Agustina Fernandez, the unfortunate player, the ball hitter. And we're going for penalty corner. The injector, 56. That one tiny bit overcomplicated. It looked, looks like it's come off here. It's still live though for University of Birmingham. Can they fashion an opportunity from this? In fact, it's gone so far not to plan. Possession has been turned over. It's now with Beeston. We've got 90 seconds or so of the first half to play. Strong half for Beeston. University of Birmingham, though, aren't fully out of this yet. They can score goals quickly and do turn defence into attack very quickly indeed. So there's still an awful lot of life in this game. Two players in that beast and pass, not quite on the same wavelength. Possession turned over and then turned over again through the sideline. In fact, there is the half-time whistle. It is Beeston 2, University of Birmingham 0. Terrific start for the Bees. It was 0-0 at the end of the first quarter. And then two goals in relatively quick succession. Sophie Robinson, definitely the goal scorer, regardless of what it says on the system. And we still don't know for sure who scored the second goal. But what is beyond doubt is that Beeston have a half-time two-goal lead over University of Birmingham. Hi, I'm Steve Parker from FHP Living with the sales agents down here at Trent Basin, a stunning mixed development of apartments and quality homes set directly on the riverfront. If you'd like any more information or to arrange a viewing, please contact us at the office or have a look on our website. Thank you. 
when you succeed. We succeed. So, we listen. We tailor. And we invest in you. We are innovators. We deliver results. And world-class service. We are always developing. Learning and growing. And getting better at what we do. Supporting your business. We make technology effortless. And more than just a means to an end. We're the team who serve and advise you. All to help you achieve. And surpass your goals. We're super. We're honest. And go the extra mile. We're winners. And team players. And together, we're the... Beeston were allowed to play on there. The ball was tapped into the goal by Lauren Burrell. However, the umpire blew, and it's a defensive hit. Back up and running. Beeston hunting in packs. They have that attacking free hit with the ball. Heidi debate. Umpire having another discussion with the players, making sure the ball's taken in the right place. We are going again. Decent spin, another free hit into the circle we go, whipped in towards that, turned over. The very, very first match here on BTV. It was a 2-2 draw with Beeston going into a two-goal lead with University of Birmingham coming back to draw right at the end. I'm not saying that that's going to happen today, but uh, it does have a few parallels with that very first game of BTV. Sean Emsley. That attack doesn't come off. University of Birmingham will restart from the back. 40 minutes played. Beeston 2, University of Birmingham 1. Chopped out of defence. University of Birmingham moving the ball quite nicely down this left-hand side now. Decent run this and fashioned opportunity. Good save from Nicky Cochran. And they survived that. It has been all University of Birmingham in terms of attacking intent these first minutes of the second half. Rafaela Brando Lee scoring to make it 2-1. Beeston started the half with a two-goal lead. And this has fallen kindly. It's two on two at the back. Sean Emsley's path to goal blocked. It's going to be a free hit for the Bees. Fernandez. Use it to Emsley. Puts the ball into the air. And she's robbed of it. From the side we go again. Nice touch from Charlotte Triggs there, blocking that forward movement. In terms of numbers as well, you might be expecting Sienna Horton in 10. She's in 88 today. Philippa Stewart. Running so quickly there, she uh, ran into uh, a lack of focus, which is impressive. Lights are on here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. A 
Another good run, this one. Fired into the circle, patted away, and then fired towards the goal again. Umpire having to duck out of the way. Cochrane called into action twice, and she stood up to the uh, ball on both occasions so far since the goal. Nice ball down the sideline, but the players down just in front of us here. It is a head injury. We won't be bringing you that, but it, it is right in front of us here. Delith Thomas is the player who's injured. Doctors coming over to attend to the player. So the camera will focus on the two teams whilst the attention is made. Thomas making her way off the field. She's uh, walking off unaided, so that's a good sign, but hit at being hit in the head by the ball, never good at all. I'm understanding it was a stick, it was right in front of us, just slightly away from the plate. So hopefully Thomas is okay. You can see her now back into shot 34, making her way off the field. And we are going again. High did of eight. Rolls the ball along the floor. Nice take and turn. Triggs. Nice pass. Fernandez makes her way towards the circle. She has won that free hit. She wants the ball. Fernandez. Always full of forward movement, but she's uh, elected to give it up to McKee. McKee. Fire towards the goal, and so close, it's still live. Surely, it is there. Terrific finish. Terrific finish from close range. I make that as uh, Rebecca Mullion's goal. We'll see for sure on the replay. Congestion just in front of the goalkeeper. It popped out all the way to Fernandez. Fernandez played the ball into the circle, and it is hammered low and into the goal. And it absolutely is number 36, Rebecca Mallion. She scored against Buckingham a couple of weeks ago. That's her second of the season for the player who started the season as just 16 years old. Terrific finish from her, and Beeston have restored their two-goal lead of the University of Birmingham. Lauren Burrell nearly, nearly coming away with the ball off that interception. She just pushed it out to play though for a sideline ball. You heard the ooze in the crowd. University of Birmingham have been stung here by Beeston. Player goes to ground, pip lock, but play continues. In fact, umpire has gone back. Lock gets us going again. Lock goes towards the byline, into the circle. Balls being turned over via the umpire's whistle. Beeston have possession. Got a lost stick there. Not entirely sure what the hold-up is here. I'm sure Beeston wouldn't mind a few seconds disappearing off the clock. Nice maintenance of possession. This time they're going through the middle. It has been lost. And this time, the University of Birmingham go through the middle. And goalkeeper Nicky Cochran is happy to see that one go through. Gillett very calmly gives the ball to Robinson. Robinson back to Gillett. Making the way towards halfway and over it. Things are opening up here. The space to run into. 
Another good run this. McKee in towards the circle and her ball is popped up. Goalkeeper involved again. Beeston ball sniffing around for a fourth here are Beeston. And they have another free hit. Myrie Drummond. Defers the ball to Devay. Into the circle, pops up. And that has been turned over via the umpire's whistle. University of Birmingham ball. If you're listening really carefully, you can hear the bells of the clock tower telling us it's three o'clock in Nottingham. Your nominations for player of the match are always welcome as well. Tweet us at official BHC as two players bump into each other. Heidi De Vate, player deemed to be at fault there. Strong touch from Paige Gillett. Blocks the run of the University of Birmingham player. Umpires bringing everything back out to this point. Spreading the play nicely. There's a lot of carpet to be played on there. And it's a long corner to defend. For Beeston's perspective, University of Birmingham trying to Claw another one back. They've scored one already. Then they peg back again. Using the space wisely here. Running towards the circle. Maybe trying to engineer a foot. That is good defensive work though. Turned over in a dangerous position and then immediately possession re-gifted back to Beeston. Small aerial ball. <laughs> Lost the ball. Where is the ball? There we go. It is with Ali ED. ED. Plays the ball low along the floor and possession is going to be given back to Beeston. Looks like we'll be doing that one again. Temperatures just uh, dropped a couple of notches here. Obviously the players will be nice and toasty and warm having run about for the best part of their 50 minutes so far in the chapel where we are. It's uh, suddenly gone a bit nippy. Hopefully wherever you're watching, you're all nice and warm as well, particularly if you're watching in the bar here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. That's a nice take. Good run this. Huddleston towards goal, blocked by the foot of Nicole Marks. Done well with the feet, it's going to come back again. This time from the outside, in towards the circle. Is the ball loose? No, it's going to be cleared up in defence via the sideline. Jess Hood. Hood goes to the baseline. She will turn. Fernandez. Fernandez has done well here. Long corner. From a Beeston perspective, that's where you want the ball to be. Down this end. Three points will be very welcome at this stage of the season. That ball, though, pops all the way through and will be cleared via a defensive hit for University of Birmingham. 51 minutes now complete. It's a two-goal lead for Beeston over University of Birmingham. I've got the goal scorers for Beeston as Sophie Robinson and Lauren Burrell in the first half and Rebecca Malian after Rafaela Brando Lee had pulled one back from the penalty corner for University of Birmingham.
I have solved the mystery, by the way. University of Birmingham is 56. It's Captain Amelia Andrew. That is the difference. That's what we were looking for. is looking increasingly dark on your picture. Beeston moving the ball quickly and this has opened up nicely. Shooting opportunity. Pops up into the air. Umpires have indicated that it is the end of the third quarter. Two minute break and we'll do another 17 and a half minutes. Beeston have a two goal lead over University of Birmingham. We'll have a quick look at the other games which are going on around the Investec Premier Division and the Men's Premier Division as well. Earlier on, two games starting at midday, Clifton Robinsons three, Loughborough students two, Buckingham one, East Grinstead four, Holcombe one, Bowden Hightown two, important result for Bowden. And uh, this is important for Beeston that they get the three points today. Bowden off the bottom. And later on, Surbiton are playing Hampstead and Westminster. That is the final game of the day. The top two teams meeting at Surbiton. Elsewhere, the men's game, which is currently going on, Surbiton versus Hampstead and Westminster. We'll have a quick look at how that's going as well. First look at the men's game today. Details coming up shortly as the two teams are getting the instructions. It's looking like a corker already. 36 minutes played, Surbiton 4, Hampstead and Westminster 3. Alan Forsyth making it 1-0 for Surbiton. Rupert Shipperley equalising for the champions. Surbiton then going 2-1 up through David Goodfield and then Hampstead and Westminster equalising again. Surbiton then pulling into a four goals to two lead through James Royce and Luke Taylor. Matt Guys brown on target again for Hampstead and Westminster. So hatfuls of goals, plenty going on. And it's uh, Surbiton, Hampstead and Westminster double header today. And uh, we'll keep you posted on what's going on there. The teams are making their way out for the final few. Or well, making their way out for the final time. Play is restarted. Can Beeston hang on and get all three points? Can University of Birmingham find the two goals that would put them back into contention in this game? 17 and a half minutes to find out what's going on. Beeston. Have the ball taken off them. They're doing good pressing but can't get near the ball at the moment in that defensive situation. Snapping into the tackles really well, but again, can't seem to get near the ball. They have come away with it this time. Sideline ball immediately given away though. University of Birmingham have possession. Crunched along the floor, knocks out of play. Emsley with the ball now. Delith Thomas, who has obviously recovered from that uh, stick to the head a few moments ago, so that's good to see. Thomas takes the ball, plays it inside. That hit of Beeston foot. And will be an opportunity to build something for University of Birmingham. Thomas plays the ball backwards. To Captain Amelia Andrew. Andrew, diagonal ball. Comes off a stick and Beeston have possession. Nice take again. Under. Not the easiest ball to take that one. She's done well. into the final quarter of the field. And that one's just beyond the stick and out of play.
ball right in front of us here at the chapel. Right on the halfway line, Thomas. Plays the ball backwards to Andrew. Bouncing ball towards the circle, been taken nicely by Gillett. Nice sweeping move down the right-hand side for the home side. That's a nice take and a pass as well. And unfortunately, I think that hit a foot on the way through, so it's going to be turned over for the away team. That's gone all the way through, just beyond Coca Hall. Yes, there's still 15 minutes to play, but I can comfortably say, after seeing most of the Eastern ladies' games this season, this is the best they've played as a team. They've come close to this before, but this is the best they've played as a team this season. I hope that this performance is rewarded with three points from their endeavour. There's still 14 minutes to play. That's nudged off the stick, long corner. I did debate, debate into a bit of a crowd scene. Beeston going back to the base. Uh, Paige Gillett plays the ball out to the left, gets it back again. Once again out to the left, nice turn and run McKee. McKee rolls the ball backwards. Palm heads in the University of Birmingham defence at the minute under an awful lot of pressure from an awful lot of black shirts. That's been taken out of play. Beast and have it on the side. That has been turned over though. Just can't quite get a stick on it. I'm sure there was a foot in that. I think play's been caught. Uh, was going to be called as advantage, but it's been brought back for that foot. A goal now would really put the cat amongst the pigeons. Surging towards the circle. It is a free hit for University of Birmingham. Right on the edge of the circle, it appears to be. Although that wasn't brilliant. And that is a nice take from Sophie Robinson. Robinson shields the ball well. She's come a long way with it. Can she get a second of the game? She's going to check back and play the ball. It comes off her foot, surely, in the circle. But no, says the umpire. Play continues. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Nice take in the air. gives possession to University of Birmingham. Once again, they've transitioned well from defence into attack. Beeston have it. I wouldn't mind seeing that again later on if we could. That uh, Sophie Robinson opportunity, but I think it will have to be uh, for private viewing later on, I think. Hood. First time ball along the touchline. Can Alice Huddleston keep it in play? She's lost a stick in the process. That's been mopped up. Could this be number four? It's still loose. And all the way out of play. Defensive laps for University of Birmingham. And so very nearly punished by Beeston. And straight through up the other end. Oh, what a stop on the line. Goalkeeper was beaten. Real, real. Ooh, straight through.
flash of the ball, high, all the way through. Of course, there's no touch on there. Ten minutes to play. Succession of turnovers in the middle of the field. University of Birmingham have it again. Sienna Horton, 88. Clips this through. Into the circle, danger here. That's an important touch, Nicky Cochran coming out and patting that one out of harm's way. University of Birmingham dialing up the pressure again. And that's a very, very good touch. And good play on the fall from Lily Walker. Walker doing well. Lock tries to find Andrew. That doesn't work. It's all gone very scrappy. I can sense that it's more tension out on the field of play with eight and a half minutes to go. And that one hits the side of the goal. And Beeston will take a little bit of extra time over this one to return the ball back into play. Your nominations, please, as well. At official BHC, we'll announce the Riley Wealth Management Player of the Match with one minute to go. If we get the information in time, of course, but your nominations are always welcome. Paige Gillard doing very well to shepherd the ball, and that's a... Myra Drummond playing herself into trouble, but she's done well here. That's just underneath the goalkeeper, Nicole Marks blocking well. Ball taken in the air, and Nicky Cochran is uh, very, very happy to shepherd that one out of play. Getting closer and closer to the three points. Ball patrol bringing the ball back into play. There's a player just in front of us here. Jess Hood wanted the ball. The, it's gone down the middle. Possession has been ceded back to the visitors in red. Stewart. Long corner for University of Birmingham. And there's a break on here. It's three on two at the back. Although lots of defensive support are making their way into possession. That's another foot there in the circle, I'm sure. Robinson, and that's smashed over the top of the bar. And uh, that's the end of that attack. The umpire was playing advantage. Diagonal ball mopped up at the back. Annie Dalton. McKee. And it's another turnover, high turnover game, this one. And as I say, that Ali Edi proves my point by winning it back again for Beeston. Nice control from Jess Hood. Hood spreads the ball out to the left to Edi. Edi back in towards that circle. It might be that time to just start thinking about holding on to possession rather than going for that fourth goal. The fourth goal certainly would kill it. Keep your nominations coming in. We are reading them and we'll make our decision once we've had uh, 
got the, they've got the most of them in. It doesn't have to be a Beeston player, it could be a University of Birmingham player. Who stood out for you? That's all that matters. Things are opening up here again. Robinson steadies herself and fires it low and hard. Nicole Marks with her feet again. Robinson can't quite believe it. Put absolutely everything into that. Long corner taken quickly. And it is a defensive hit for University of Birmingham. Robinson possibly could have had a hat-trick in this game. Assured touch to win the ball back in midfield. Whilst the ball's in midfield, a quick look at the next set of fixtures. These two teams meet again, by the way, before Christmas. The, uh, I think, uh, uh, 11 days before Christmas, these two teams meet again on Bournebrook in the Cup. University of Birmingham playing Beeston at Bournebrook. The official time, according to the England Hockey website, is that game is starting at midnight. However, I don't think that's accurate, so stand by for more information on that one. But that is the published time of that game starting. So these two teams will meet again very soon. Fernandez, oh what a pass, this surely should be a fourth, goalkeeper's been pulled out and Burrell doing very well, not quite converting it, long corner. McKee, turned over, here go University of Birmingham again, that's a great pass as well. Cochrane's come out, she's come a long way. Can this be turned in? It's hit the outside of the goal. Great run this from the visitors. Let's see how this uh, first attack come to an end. And then how quickly, as I've said all along, the defence into attack, the speed so quick. Cochrane comes out a long way. The angle is against the attacker. I think that was a Rafaela Brando Lee who had the attempt. She's already got one for the game. We're looking for a second. Clock is stopped. It looks like we're going for a we're going for a goalkeeper substitution here, are we? Or just a free hit. I saw the uh, tumbling hands of the umpire there and misread it. We are back up and running again. This time. That doesn't work. And that's another important interception. Fernandez, at this time, I'm sure the ball will be held in the corner for as long as it possibly can be. No, taken into attack towards the circle and possession gifted back to University of Birmingham. But they don't want it there. They want it at the other end of the field. Ninety seconds to play. We'll be totting up your Riley Wealth Management Player of the Match nominations in a moment and uh, announcing that one. Beeston are looking likely to take all three points here. University of Birmingham aren't going to give up just yet, though. Go on the hunt for the second goal of the game. In fact, possession turned over again to Beeston. The clever thing to do here is wait as long as they can to restart possession. And that's a miss control from the word go. Into the circle, goalkeeper Nicky Cochran involved and the umpire indicates it's going to be a beast and ball. So with 45 seconds to play, we'll restart from the same point. Towards the sideline, and I'm sure there's going to be an enormous cheer in about half a minute's time or so. And confirmed your Riley Wealth Management player of the match is Beeston's number 30, Paige Gillett. 
Congratulations. Clock counting down towards that 70 minute mark. Three points. The goal. Beeson. Could this be the icing on the cake? Oh, so close to a fourth. And we should be hearing the umpire's whistle any second now. And there it is, three points for Beeston. Three points in the bag, which moves them up from six points to nine points, leapfrogging University of Birmingham in the process. Here's your match information. So that is the final score, Beeston three, University of Birmingham one. On your screen, it says Lauren Burrell with both of the opening goals, however, I'm sure that first one is a fantastic finish by Sophie Robinson, but we'll get that confirmed in due course. Rafaela Brando lead with a penalty corner on 38, probably one back for University of Birmingham. Beeston through Rebecca Mallion from close range, hammering the ball in to secure all three points. Quick look at the rest of the games which are going on. So the results from earlier on, Clifton Robinson's three Loughborough students two, Buckingham one, East Grinstead four, and a away win at Holcomb. Holcomb one, Bowden Hightown two, and Beeston three, University of Birmingham one. What has that done to the table? Well, those points are now loaded in. Not only did Beeston leapfrog University of Birmingham, with Bowden Hightown also winning today, that's put University of Birmingham at the bottom of the Premier Division. So a very, very uh, important result there for Beeson because they uh, obviously didn't want that to happen to them. So work to do still for University of Birmingham. Next for them, it's Clifton Robinson's next week at home. Beeston travel to East Grinstead next weekend for a late start. Many thanks to Ultra Building Products, today's match sponsor, today's match ball sponsor, Mountain Sports. Next fixtures for the men. Tomorrow, they're away at University of Exeter for the women, as I said, East Grinstead away. Next, BTV is on the 1st of December. That's it for November on BTV. We'll be back for the men on the 1st of December versus Brooklands. Be there for that one at 2 o'clock. From everyone here at BTV, thanks for watching. I've been Andy Day. You've been you. You've been great. Thanks for keeping us company. We'll see you next time.